Hi guys, I just wanted to start by saying that the times we are living in are pretty crazy and that in that we need more than ever to be aware of the truth of our own expression. There's a great deal of importance in words that has been hidden from us even though it's been right in front of us all the time. So be aware, speak your truth and bear in mind what is important to you isn't necessarily what's important to someone else. This little rant is about words and the truth of them. Do you realize what you're saying? With your real eyes, if I recognize the real lies, I'm less interested in the etymology of the word, yet more interested in the sound and the phonetics and the vibrations they carry and what they actually mean. Today, hopefully, I'll be taking you on a journey so that you may realize perhaps the true intention behind language. Also carrying with it the mindfulness of the truth of intention as we speak and spell words. So spell, for instance, have you ever thought about the intention of creation, of what you are doing when you spell a word? What does spell mean? Could it actually mean that you're casting a spell when you write? Which in itself leads me to the word write. Remember my earlier reference to the phonetic sounds? Well, there's another way of spelling right, which is R-I-T-E. And the definition of right, according to the dictionary, is a religious or other solemn ceremony or act. And then again, you have the past tense of right, which is wrote. Again, if you take the phonetic spelling of it, you end up with R-O-T-E, and the definition of rote, according to the dictionary, is the mechanical or habitual repetition of something to be learned. Here, I'm only beginning to scratch the surface of the language that we speak on a daily basis without ever realizing what we are saying. During these times we're living through, perhaps the most important thing is to know yourself, know your own personal integrity, rather than relying upon others' beliefs. Belief. Be lie. So why would I be lying when I say I believe something? It might be because I either know something to be true or just believe it to be true. Why would I choose the word believe over no? It might just be that it fits in the sentence better. There's another one. Sentence. Three meanings in the dictionary. A grammatical unit. A penalty imposed by law or other authority, an opinion or judgment or decision. So to stretch the subject to a complete extreme, could you actually be casting a spell in writing a sentence and therefore have committed a crime, unintentionally of course, and granted by some other authority? Can you see how important it might be for us to comprehend the words that we're speaking and the intent behind them? Another word is deeds. This word means doings and actions taken but it also means legal documents. So with deeds, with actions, are we putting it into law, our law? And then we have the word draw. So in drawing something, we're actually creating a reality where we're bringing ourselves closer to it. I hope not, as I drew an elephant this morning and I might make it wake up tomorrow with one in my living room. But could we perhaps take advantage of it? Say we wanted to sell a house or a car. Would it not benefit? of us to draw a picture of the house with a sold sign in front of it on the lawn. It wouldn't need to be perfect, just a quick sketch or a likeness. Actually, a friend of mine did that really recently. She'd had a house on the market for a year, and she sold it within two days or three days of us doing that. So the next one I want to look at is television. You might have heard this one. But if we break the word down, we've got television, tele perhaps meaning telepathic, then vision meaning scene. So we walk over to the TV and we turn it on, and then we select what? Channel? Definition of channel might be channeling information into our minds. Then we select something to watch on that channel, a segment, which is referred to as a program. So seriously, with that word, are they describing a situation where they program us with information that they wish us to believe? Be like, to a telepathic division device. Now a weird one, Kindle. A technology device for reading books or a reason for burning books. And on closing note, I'd just like to add one more. Hello. 
an appropriate way for me to welcome you with a term used by many. Hello, but in doing so, would I not be welcoming you to my own personal hell?